Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Freddie Mercury story, a musical journey through Freddie's life. Tonight you will meet his family, friends and lovers, and learn about what made Freddie such a unique and charismatic performer. Please sit back and enjoy the Freddie Mercury story. I'm Cash Cook, Freddie's sister. I'm Jo Bolsara, Freddie's mummy. He was born on 5th September 1946. And funny enough, it happened to be on our Parsi New Year's Day. The name we selected for him is Faro. That was his birth name. That was the name at that time, very fashionable in, in the Parsis, and I just wanted to name him that. Freddie enrolled in Ealing College as an art student and turned out to be a very accomplished artist. Here are some of his sketches. He was particularly interested in film and pop stars. This is also where he became good friends with Brian and Roger, the guitarist and drummer of Queen, and where Tim Staffel, the lead singer of the group Smile, the predecessor to Queen, knew he had to step aside to let the talent of Freddie shine through. I'm Tim Staffel. I was the original singer in Smile, which was the band which came before Queen. And I guess uh, that if I hadn't stepped aside, the world might have been a very different place. Freddie was always there, you know, Freddie was saying, well, I'll sing, you know, I, we can do this, you know, put the band together like this and we get a, etc, etc, we'll do this, 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 this. And we kind of gradually went, well, okay. I was, I really wasn't the writer that Freddie was, so I, I, I tend to view it these days as, I'm glad, I'm, I'm glad I got out of the way because if I hadn't, the world wouldn't have had Queen. In the early days of Queen, Freddie met a girl named Mary Austin. Freddie fell head over heels in love with Mary and it was not long before they were boyfriend and girlfriend and started to live together. As their relationship grew, Mary used to help out with money and also encourage Freddie with the ideas he had. They lived life as a normal couple and everything was fine with their relationship. But Freddie knew inside there was something wrong. Then one night he told Mary that he was bisexual Mary then replied, No, Freddie, you're not bisexual, you're gay. This situation gradually ended their relationship, but they always remained good friends. You wrote this song for the first album um, called My Fairy King. And there's a line in that where he goes, Oh, Mother Mercury, what have you done to me? And it was after that that he said to me, well, I'm going to become Mercury, you know, because the, 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 the mother in this song is my mother, and so I'm going to become Mercury. And we went, you know, thinking, is he mad? You know? <laughs> but he, again, he was serious, and he changed his name to, to, to Freddie Mercury. Although Freddie never did have another girlfriend, he always stayed close friends with Mary Austin. And the bulk of his money, along with his London home, was left to her. Mary still lives with her family in Freddie's home, even till this day. Geldof uh, ordered them. <laughs> to regroup and perform. The thing was, did Fred want to do it? You know, because Fred wasn't that keen. You know, I think Freddie was a bit reticent about doing anything. But Bob came in one day when we had talked about the Live Aid thing and he said, I told Freddie he's doing it. And I kind of believe him. Freddie performed against the advice of his doctor because of a throat condition. But he went out there and gave one of the greatest live television performances ever. It was as if all the artists backstage had heard a dog whistle and their heads turned and the free song you felt was, they're stealing the show. All these rumors and he was obviously suffering and we didn't know what it was and rumor, rumor, rumor. And so he did sit us down at one point and he said, look, you probably know what I'm gonna say. You know what I'm suffering from. 
you know what the problem is, but I don't want to talk about it anymore. I just want to make music and let's get on with it. I never heard him go, this is really awful. You know, I'm going to die. Never, 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 never. He was an amazingly strong person.